In this, in this video, we're going to try and understand why an equation of this form, why an equation of this form will yield a hyperboloid of two sheets. Now, two sheets, meaning you've got one sheet here and, uh, and you've got another separate sheet down here and they're disconnected. That's why it's two sheets. So it starts out by varying the z. So let's put zero into the z. So when you put zero into the z, you're really looking uh, at a height of zero. So when you so so this is us varying z. Z represents a height. So when you put zero into the z, it means you're looking at a, a plane where where it's at a, a height of zero. So you look well if you put zero into here, hang on. If you put zero into here, this whole block here would disappear. So when you look at this equation, um, x and y would never satisfy this thing will never be equal to one. That's why you've got nothing on this plane. You've got nothing in this plane. But as you increase the height, let's say you increase the height. So hang on. Let's say you increase the, the height. So let's increase the height. So let's say the height is currently here. Um, so let, let's, let's say the height is at 2 at the moment. So hang on. So let's, let's put 2 into here. This thing here will be 4. And then you've, you've got something, something along this line here. Um, hang on. Hang on. Let's, let's rearrange this whole thing first. Let's, um, let's add this and this to the other side and then take away one to this side. So, uh, so that would then give us this. That would then give us this. Now, we are looking at a height of, let's say, 2. So we're going to put 2 into the z. So this thing here will be, let, let's imagine this c to be 1. So you're going to have 4 minus 1. So that would then give you 3. Three and then and then you've got a constant here and then on the right hand side you have something of this form. You have something of this form. Now the minute you see a constant and and this form, you you know you're going to get circles or ellipse. That's why that's why up to a certain up to when when z is at a certain height, um, it will form a circle or an ellipse. So if you vary if you decrease the height. So currently it's at two. Let's decrease the height slightly. Bear with me. So let's um, let's decrease the height slightly. Let's say around here. So now z is there. So if um, if, if you look at this, um, if you look at this plane, you're you're, you're going to get um, you're going to get a circle or an ellipse somewhere in, in in here. You're going to get a circle or an ellipse. The point is is that um, uh, as as you vary as you vary the height as you vary height. If it's too low, then you're not going to get a solution. But up to a certain stage, when when this whole thing here, hang on, when this whole thing here is above zero, then you're going to get a circle or an ellipse. So um, so up to a certain height, bear with me. Up to a certain height, then you're going to get a circle or an ellipse along the way. The same same argument can be used down here as well. So um, oops, hang on. So um, yeah, so so this thing here will will explain why we're going to get a lot of um, bear with me. Uh, this, so so this this thing here will explain why we're going to get a lot of circles or ellipses um, uh, uh, along here. So uh, and down here as well, you're going to get a lot of circles and ellipses down here. Um, and then if uh, if you um, if we if we put zero into the x now if we put zero into the x this thing here would disappear. So uh, so when you put zero into the into the x in your mind you've got to imagine this. Bear with me. Um, you've got to imagine a plane here. So so you so you're moving this plane here along the x-axis. So when you put zero into the x you're really looking you're moving the uh, the plane. So in well, you got to how imagine this thing here is bear with me, bear with me. How imagine imagine you've got something like this. You've got negative one, negative two. This is positive one, uh, positive two. So when you put zero into the z, you've got to imagine the plane moving in the in the x. Um, bear with me. In the in the x direction, you're moving to zero here. So you could, if you start at negative two here, you're now at negative one, and now now you're at zero. So you so when you put zero into the x, um, you're looking at a plane, a vertical plane, like a sheet of paper, 
um, at x equals zero. Well, at x equals zero, when you put um, let's ignore this. So hang on. Um, so uh, so when when you put um, when you put zero into the x, when you put zero into the x, this whole thing here disappears. And I hope you can see that this is going to give you a, hyp a hyperbola. So um, so so z will be here, y will be here. So uh, so because you've got a minus here, you're going to go along the y. So that's why you've got a hyperbola. The minute I, the minute I give you this, the minute hang on, the minute I give you this equation, bear with me. The minute I give you this equation here, remember you're putting zero into into the x, so the middle the middle term will disappear. So so the minute I give you this, you should be able to draw this in your mind. Uh, the z axis, the y axis, and then you've got a minus here, and you're moving along the y direction. So you you've got um, you, you, you've got a minus here, and then you've got a, you're moving in the y direction. So there's going to be a gap um, a lot in the y direction. That's why I'm here on this plane. You're going to get something like this. You're going to get something like this and something like this. That's why that's why this bit here will will will, uh, will correlate with this thing here, and then this thing here will correlate with this thing here. And now, if you put um, if you put bear with me, if you put zero into the y, so you could imagine the plane is moving towards zero in the y direction. So the plane is moving in towards um, zero in the y direction. So imagine you've got a vertical sheet of paper here located at y equals zero. And then if uh, if you if you put y if you put zero into the y, then uh, then you're going to have this. Hang on, you're going to have something like this. Uh, and then the minute I give you this, you should be able to draw this graph. Um, uh, Z here and X in in the X direction. So this is uh, this is X, and then you're going to get something like this. You're going to get something like this along the X direction. So if you um, if you look at if you imagine this is your this is your if you imagine that this is your face here, looking at it in this thing here, and your right hand side is uh, is your right hand side will be over here. Your left hand side will be so this is negative in the x direction your left hand will be here so on this graph here your right hand will be here your left hand will be here your face will be around here looking straight at, at it so you, you're going to get um, you're going to get something looking like this you're going to get something so this thing here will, will correlate with this thing here and then and then this thing here will correlate with this thing here. I hope you can see that. You so so when you put um, when you put zero into the y here, imagine you're looking at it in this direction. Your face is here. Um, left hand would be here. Your right hand would be here. So your face would be here. Your left hand would be here. Your right hand would be here. So this thing here. Well, I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, that, that's why this equation here will yield this um, this hyperboloid. Okay.